Guys, it's Gus. And if you didn't know, the 10-year anniversary of Neverwinter Jubilee event is here. Oh boy, it's a shit show. My goodness. They've had two hot fixes in the last 24 hours, and guess what? There's still tons broken. You know, the Protector's bounties have been promising us for over a month that we're going to get legendary insignias. Well, that's not fixed. You know, we have this great companion we can earn, the Elminster's Simacrum. We can't get it. Well, because guess why? Because we have to complete daily quests, and you, there is no daily quest I can complete. You know, that's broken. They promised that we were going to get discount vouchers for the bazaar in their blog. There is no discounted vouchers anywhere in this game right now from this event. There's who who knows what else is wrong with it. You know what? I don't care. I'm okay with that. Because the players have been asking for so much in this game and they're listening and I think they're trying their best. You know, we're getting 3 mods a year. Holy shit, how long has that been since that's happened? At the same time, they're trying to update all these events that have been going on for like a decade now and making them relevant again. And when you're dealing with billions of bits of data, shit happens, right? I don't think there's a single software program on this, on this planet that's updated weekly or bi-weekly that's never had a single bug. Bugs and information technology is inevitable. You know, you can't avoid it, especially if you're trying to get it out as fast as possible and make players happy. And I'm okay with that because I'm loving it. There's so much to, in, to do in this game right now. I'm not, I'm never bored. But I think there is a problem. And the problem is when they make a decision to consciously hurt the player base. You know, it's not an error or a bug. It's a decision. Oh, God, I can't even say that word. And that happened with this diva champion. And it got lost in the hubbub because it occurred at the same time as this big, huge event. And the diva champion has been around for years and is a shitty companion. It's always been shitty. And I'll show you why. It has this little tiny blue 5% shield. And they stack. So if you have potentially 10 Diva Champions, you have a 50% blue shield in the group. Big deal. It will never happen in a trial scenario. Because all 10 players have to be all within range. The Diva Champions have to cast the power and not die. And nobody has to take a single hit right and when you do that you're losing all this damage from not having buffing and striking companions well he's a striker but he does shit damage so this companion this is a cash only companion you cannot get this in the game in a dungeon you cannot farm it the only way to get it is through cash you have to get cash to get zen to get it from a lockbox or you have to buy it from the in the auction house from somebody who paid cash for it is a cash only companion and they, i think they said how do we make this cash only companion not a piece of shit so they gave it some minor buffs they gave its blue shield from five percent to ten percent and it has a little tiny damage mitigation that reduces the com enemy's i believe crit severity by i believe six percent big deal even with all these buffs it's still a shitty companion just not as shitty and there's no place for it currently in the game because currently in the game you don't need a healer or a diva champion and tom and zeriel and demo and crown of keldegon and master temple of the spiders you don't need this diva champion anywhere there's no place for it and the hardest dungeon master zemnid's reliquary is being can be done with one healer with no diva champion so if this diva champion so broken a they can do it with one healer and a bunch of divas faster than they can do it with one healer and no divas or b they can do it with no healers and a bunch of divas which never happened in this game if there's a bug if there's something broken they will take full advantage of it and i know it wasn't going to happen because i've had this companion for a long time and i've known how shitty it was they just made it less shitty i was looking at maybe for future dungeons it might help well guess what they decided to do they decided 
shortly after they made it a shitty companion to a less shitty companion, they said, we're going to nerf it. Guess what happened between that period of time? Players spent tens, if not hundreds of millions of Astro Diamonds on this companion across all three platforms, hoping that this companion would have some use. And they spent their tens slash hundreds of millions of AD on this companion, and they announced the nerf the very next day. So the devs created a problem, and they put the fix on the players. The players were stuck holding the bag. Like this event right now, they created a problem, and they said, sorry for the disappointment. We're going to try to help resolve this issue by giving you 50 protectors, bounties, and a cold word. Hey, that's great. You don't want to say anything because we didn't put anything into it, but we appreciate it. But they created this problem with the Astral Diva, the Diva Champion, that cost players tens, if not hundreds of millions of AD. And the players are left holding the bag with nothing to show for it, except a companion that's worse off than it was before they nerfed it. So players are disappointed. Players got screwed over. And this was conscious. This was something that was totally avoidable. They didn't have to buff it. And I don't think the buff did anything. I, I still wouldn't use it. But players were thinking about using it, so they bought it. And it would still have no effect on the game. They didn't have to nerf it, but they did. And all the players who bought it are left with a more useless companion than before the buff. And I know there's going to be some players below that say that's what they get. They're going to be super toxic. You know, they're going to be blame the victim mentality. Players shouldn't trust this company. Well, you can't ask players to not trust the company. We should trust the company. I think any company we give money to, we want to give money to a company we trust. And yet again, they showed that they do not want to be a trustworthy company. Be careful, everybody. This game's great, but they have no oversight. They have no conscience, and they will do anything once you give your money to them because there's nothing you can do about it. And this is yet another example. God, I want to say something good about them, but they keep doing this to the players. It's very unfortunate because they don't have to. They, they decided to. They made two big wrong decisions to screw over players in, in less than a week. That's unfortunate. Buyer beware. Stay class, everyone. See you soon.